Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Alex. I run Nikolai Photographics on Facebook. If you want to guys check it out, go ahead. It's spelled F O T O G R A F I C E. And then it's also my last name, N I C U L A E. You'll catch it on Facebook. Look it up. There's all kind of pictures on there. So, where I'm at today, kind of exploring, I know it kind of sucks with backlighting and everything like that, sun, shade is this castle I found out in Willoughby Hills, Ohio. This castle is owned now by Cleveland Metro Parks, but originally was part of a guy by the name of Franklin D. Squire. This was his castle back, way back when. I'll show you all the information when we get up there. Let me show you this castle here real quick. No, I can't spin it. All right. So there's a castle, and you can actually go inside of it, and it is reservable. I know, crazy to think. You can reserve this castle. So I'm going to cut the video here for a minute, and I'm going to pick it back up when we get closer. All right, so here you have a little bit about the castle as you walk up to it. It was built in the 1890s. Some of the information by Cleveland Oil Filter. My bad, it was Fergus B. Squire, not Franklin D. Squire. Completely different people. Part of the castle was actually queried from what is now part of Cleveland Metro Park's Euclid Creek Reservation. Much of the castle exterior was constructed with Euclid Blue Stone. If you're in the Ohio area, some of these names are going to sound familiar. But what you're going to see is it was only actually the gatekeeper's house. So let's head on up there. So here's the castle coming up towards it. I'm going to get some other shots as well. I'm going to cut and continue the video. This castle is actually only one story high. Even though there is upper levels. They took out the upper levels. And he used this in the 1900s. And it was built back in like the 1800s. This whole field was all supposed to be part of his property. His house was supposed to be back here. But this is just like his gatekeeper's place. Alright, so I walked through the main walkway. Now you walk into this room. This was known as his room. Nothing really left. But kind of a cool view. Some of the windows, surprising not to have bars in them unless they took them out. They had the fireplaces in them. And here's a little bit about the castle itself. This has the map of the castle, so you can kind of see what all the rooms actually look like. You're good. So from the dining room, you had doorways that went like this. These went into living quarters, fireplaces, and each one to keep them warm. Windows themselves. And there's another living quarters on the other side. A little bit more about Franklin Squire, which I'll get back to in just a moment. So over here has a little bit more about Squire himself and what he did, where he moved to. Came the kitchen. This was the kitchen area. With the views. And that was actually the porch. I'm surprised they closed off this fire pit. Completely closed it up. This 
Patty, you can tell it used to be covered. This porch. But just by the way it looks. The tar and everything that was here. So back here was kind of considered like the walkway. Which is kind of cool. But I think they took the post down. From what I can tell. There used to be... Yeah, they took them down. There used to be a poster here that looked really, really cool. And they took it out. You can kind of see where they were. It's like a cobblestone almost look. You would look at it from here, and this was kind of like the entrance to the castle. All right, so there you have it. Right behind me, Franklin Castle. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Give it a subscribe. Check out more videos coming out. A lot of you guys have been checking out the video that I put up of all the pictures I took when I was down in South Dakota. And I appreciate you guys for that. Over 8,000 views. That's awesome. We'll give it one more time for that Squire's Castle. So here's walking in. One of the two ways to get inside. 